Hey, looks like my camera stopped itself again, so here's another incomplete video. Weeds and actually in wild up in the hills, you know. Mm. Really delicious flavor, especially when they're young. And I think I'm just gonna clear kind of water. No, stupid. What a stupid so move. Guys, how to harvest the miners, let us you know if you have a lot of growing. You have to be so careful about each individual plant. Of course, you know if I was gonna harvest this kind of uh, collard green here, I wouldn't just pull the plant up and eat it. But with the miners, let us because it does grow in abundance. I mean, I'm not really even that careful. You can see here, we just have a little air bit here. I'm just going to go in and just grab a whole bunch, uproot it, and I will uh, take off all the dirt there. And I got a whole bunch here, pretty much the root there that we could uh, compost, and then just mallet. it. Mm -hmm. Pig man, stop. Mm -hmm.
Good grief. And right there. Oh, the curse should grow things that are going to be self perpetual whenever possible, like the miners let us there, and hopefully the top that let us will be soon. And actually, all the spinach in the front bed, I didn't even, I didn't even plant that stuff, it all came back. So, uh, some things I'll let go to seed, drop seed, and just, you know, let it keep coming back. And if I had a lot of land to do this, I would just have areas I'd be getting. I wonder if there's a movie that changed a bunch of shit that they based the song on.
Nobody else wanted to, I would be willing to do it too. If you go by the book. Well, it seems um, it seems like that would make it more fun. If there's danger of dying, you can't just say, "Oh, well, uh, let's just say this happened."
So it's basically like if, if uh, whoever has a, a retarded kid just go ahead and bury him. <laughs> <laughs> or or a mangled foot. <laughs> so so what what's the and, and acceptable is what, 14 and above? Because if you're only uh, rolling with, I mean, if you're only going with a roll of 15 or above, then why not just take a six out of dice and roll it 15 to 20? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Well, um, often just normal playing dice, like the six-sided dice, uh, the numbers that are on there are carved into the material, and and so the the six is the lightest side, and the one is the heaviest side. So kind of like say ten thousand rolls, you get one, you get uh, six is more often than one, so the one will end up facing down. Face them down.
just like swinging swords at each other and stuff. on my phone for fucking a month now or something. I'm getting a little tired of it, but I'm not done with it yet. Because, no, I quit that one. It was just, I couldn't find anything else to do. And I couldn't, and every, everybody was all dead. I couldn't even try and work or do anything else to find anything to do. Um, so, I started playing this game, Legends of Yore. And, and yeah, it's all right. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. It, it plays kind of like that other one I was playing before, Pickle Dungeon, except for you go around to towns and talk to people above ground. You go into dungeons and um, there's like a lot of bosses. There's like these dungeons that go multiple levels deep with multiple bosses. And, but it's all kind of um, it's a little lame. Like every boss fight is the same, except some of them are a little stronger and have more HP. And you just, um, the only way I can beat these bosses other than, than the first few easier ones that I beat, the only way I can beat them is just by getting a few hits on them and running away, letting my shards build up, and then teleport as far as I can away from them, and then sit there meditating, letting my shards build up, and then shoot a, a few magic shots at them as they approach, and then run away, teleport Clark off the other side, sit there meditating, hit them a few times. Yeah, and I, and I freeze that my thing with stuns, people that I use a lot, doesn't work very well on them, and if at all. So it's kind of boring, the beating bosses. Yeah. And, and there's nothing really for me to do right now, because I can't get any more quests until my level goes up a couple more levels, which takes forever. I can't get over to the other part of the world until I can get, get 100,000 gold, which is shit ton compared to the piddly goals that I get. And uh, so I, all I'm really doing is grinding around in places that are kind of difficult and hoping to find out some new items that I hadn't gotten yet, get myself a little more badass. Maybe there's this guy that I think is the end boss of the whole game that I found that might be able to defeat him, teleporting me back and forth forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and and the thing that sucks about it is when like I can sit there and say do that for 15 minutes or something or or whatever, and then and then put my phone away and and it's paused, and then I can come back later and continue to fight, but. But sometimes if I've been off it for a little while, it uh, resets. And so then I load the game and it saved where I was at in the dungeon, but it's reshuffled and re-randomized the dungeon and I have to find my way through the rooms and the boss hasn't been hit yet and I have to start over with the fight.
don't like that too much. I like randomized dungeons like this, that game Pixel Dungeon. It's a the dungeons were always randomly done, so you always get different ones every time you play. But um, whenever you go back to the ones in the same game, whenever you go back to the ones you've already been in, they're all still the same. It's just in the same places. So I like that better. No, no, two, uh, Final Fantasy 2 on Super Nintendo in America, that was Final Fantasy 4 in Japanese. On PSP Final Fantasy 2, that's, that's Japanese Final Fantasy 2, not the, not, not. <laughs> If it was this, if it was Final Fantasy America, Final Fantasy Two, but they didn't release it on PSP as that. They called it Final Fantasy Four. I guess so. I mean, if they're both made for PSP, then maybe they would have made them compatible like that. But. Ha! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs>
how's it going? <laughs> well, um, maybe he was just uh, being overly precautious to make sure everything worked out. That sounds good. I, I was thinking about that too. Um, I considered maybe just having a Christmas here like I did Thanksgiving, but um, I'd actually rather go down and visit them. Yeah. Hey, that's pretty cool that she found a bunch of living siblings of grandma's. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I remember that she was adopted and um, her... Uh, like the cousin Bill and stuff like that, that was people from her adopted family. Um, and then they all didn't know very much about her, her, uh, her true parents. But uh, Susan had found out uh, something about them. That, and I remember Hucky talking about that. But she had found out something about her, her uh, parents and had just like some kind of little smidgen of a story or something, but recently discovered a bunch more. Ancestry Cradlers. And so she's a 
subscribe to their, uh, she buys a membership to their website, Ancestry.com. Yeah. <laughs> Which is different than the thing that I usually hear people doing, which is just uh, they just send you like this report about um, like your your gene genealogical background, like oh you're uh, such and such percent Iranian and partly Irish and partly Jewish or whatever. It seems like people always have a percentage of. Jewish in there when they get that information back, which I'm not sure what it's referring to. People don't have any uh, reference on what it's referring to, apparently, so I guess it's just whatever the Mormons call Jewish, and that would be a point of further research. <laughs> Pancrase event? Yeah, it seems like. Oh. Seem like a bunch of small Japanese people that I've never heard of. Do they still call it pan creation instead of MMA?
So, uh, did you listen to that last MMA hour? Um, what did you think of uh, Nico Montagna's reasoning about why nobody except for Ultimate Fighter girls deserve a title shot at her 125 belt? Yeah, so it sounded like it was the same kind of week. She could, uh, it was about like people not proving themselves to be material to um, deserve to, to fight for a title. Um, and Shevchenko is, is more of a 125er anyway, and she hasn't been cut rate at that damn weight. And fought all the way up to title fight, two has fight. You know, against heavier people, and and so why why wouldn't she deserve a title shot at her own weight? It just seems that if she, if she hasn't fought at 125, it kind of makes sense, but except for the fact that she's fought at an even heavier weight class and made their way to the title contention. <laughs> Doesn't he cut? To, doesn't he cut down to 155? And as far as being able to cut to 125, she's obviously proved she can do that in kickboxing.
I could see the complaint with um, GSP being that there was a interim title holder. <laughs> I've been on a, um, a hardcore chess binge the last three days, I think, and uh, just playing a lot of fast games of chess. And um, they call it Blitz, anything from three minutes up to 10 or 15 minutes, I think. But um, two minute games, they call it Bullet. And so I've been, I keep thinking of Bullet Shevchenko all the time whenever I click on Bullet to play another game. <laughs> Did you see any of those UFC fights before? Forum, or the, the, the comments underneath the video on YouTube, um, mo all the ones that I read actually were talking about 
Um, Isaac Sanchez. <laughs> and uh, and it was it would start off like, or I mean no, what's his name? I, I think what the Down syndrome. Oh, oh my God! No, I was second guess myself because of Diego Sanchez. I didn't remember it being both Sanchez, but um, it was saying Diego's uh, tons of respect for Diego for doing what he's doing. And, oh, it's amazing! He's amazing. And then, and then somebody else would be like, "Fuck that! I want to stop that kid." <laughs> and then, like with a with some submission that he would have done at one point or whatever, and then another guy's all overhand right would have been my move of choice. Like he knows what he's doing, but like he wouldn't really be able to do much. Um, and they're not punching each other like in the video. And Diego says something about how he is not um, allowed to take any hard punches to the face because of the neck problems. It's just a grappling match, basically, and letting him win. <laughs> Uh, you're cutting out. I'm not, I'm not quite picking up what you're saying. Oh, yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Especially now, that's the biggest spotlight ever. Resuming. Somewhat of an unacceptable pause, but I had a good run going, so. And I kind of needed to take some phone calls.
Wow, I haven't even got to the 5,000 point goodies yet. But I'm already at 90,000. 98,000. 100 grand. 100K. 100 Gs. Whatever, guys. Missed my turn.
I knew better than to do that. I don't know if that gets me in first place in the high score club, but that's my best score yet, so I'll take it. 186 to 20.